right, so I've got a shop towel wet. Just, I'm gonna just lightly wipe it down to get, see how there's sand, or uh, see how there's dirt from when I sanded? There's dirt everywhere. And then as a finisher, what I'm gonna be applying is tongue oil. And um, I like using tongue oil because it does not change the color of the wood, of the natural beauty of the wood. And it does, it will not uh, ever yellow like um, boiled linseed oil will yellow over time. And I don't want that. So I just want to see the clear natural beauty of the wood. And so that's why I use tongue oil. And we're going to give it 24 hours to um, set in. And I find that one coat works just fine. I just <clears throat> finished another instrument kit, a banjo, and used one coat of tongue oil and it was absolutely perfect. So one coat will do. Now I'm gonna take the dry clean part of it and just wipe it down some more again. And then we'll wait about 20 minutes or so and then we will apply our tongue oil to it. All right, our fretboard has dried nicely. So we're going to apply our tongue oil to it. Now, carefully. Oh, that's pretty. Now, with these rags, this is combustible, a combustible, so you want to make sure you dispose of that in the proper way. And you don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's ready to go already, as is. But the oils from your hand and stuff like that will eventually, over time, uh, darken and blacken areas of your fretboard if you don't put some oil on there or something every now and then. Okay, so we've got it really uh, applied well there. So I'm just going to leave it for a few minutes and um, then I'll come back and wipe off any excess that is there with a clean rag, clean up around my lid there, and then that will sit for 24 hours and then we will do the rest of it. So now I'm just going to wipe off any excess. It is really soaked in. I don't really see any, any oil standing anywhere. And then we will leave it sit overnight to cure. And one other thing about this is it's like, um, it's not very, uh, it's not a terrible, it's not a pleasant smell, but it's not a terrible smell. Like a lot of the stains that you'll see. So that's why I like using these oils like this. So. Okay, we'll set that off to the side, and look how beautiful that turned out. Beautiful. So, we'll set that off to the side, and we'll forge on.